And now I'd like to turn over the microphone to James. Hi, I'm James, and uh, I'm honored that Ignatius asked me to be best man today. Uh, before I get on with my toast, I'd like to uh, get a little recognition for our host, Mr. and Mrs. Freddie, for uh, all the hard work that goes into uh, putting the wedding together and for inviting us here today to share her special day, her daughter's special day. I'd also like to recognize another set of parents that probably spent a lot of sleepless nights and, and many hours making sure that everything came together today. The Grandes, Ignatius and parents, that's what this is about. <laughs> well, I've known Ignatius for more than 10 years, and uh, I can tell you one thing with a clear conscience, he loves to take pictures. <laughs> he takes his camera everywhere, and uh, he's, he's generous, so he always gives me doubles. So uh, <laughs> I'm looking for a little inspiration for today's toast. I went through uh, the hundreds and hundreds of pictures that I have of me and Ignatius, and uh, they include pictures of skiing, sailing, snorkeling, fishing, crabbing, ice skating. I have pictures of us at keg parties and cocktail parties and wedding parties and graduation parties. I have exactly no pictures of us at any bachelor parties whatsoever. <laughs> I, have, I have pictures of us singing Dean and Frank and flat out drunk. And, uh, <laughs> and mostly, I have pictures of dinner. So between freshman year and, and last night, Ignatius has taken more pictures of meals than Martha Stewart. <laughs> so it's got to be a fact. But I realized two things going through those pictures. And the first one is that three quarters of those events wouldn't have taken place if Ignatius didn't organize it and put them together. The second thing was what a privilege and a pleasure and what a lucky guy I am to be in all those pictures with Mr. Ignatius Grande. Ignatius Grande. <laughs> his name again. The man. He's a man of faith. And he's a man of integrity. And I can tell you from personal experience that when things get rough, he's a guy you want in your corner. But more than anything, Ignatius has always been a family man. From freshman year on, freshman year, he called his parents every day at a time when most of us were trying to forget we had parents. <laughs> and he hasn't stopped since. If you've been around him, 24 hours, you know the constant stream of communication that is the Grande family. And they're pretty tight. You also know that once Ignatius gets out to Long Island, short of two free tickets to Italy, he's not coming back in this city if he's doing anything with his family. What you might not know is that he doesn't do these things because he thinks he has to or because of you know, duty or obligation. He does it because he really wants to and he loves his family. And that's one of the things we took into consideration, my wife and I, when we asked him to be godfather to our son. So it's only fitting that a guy who loves his family so much and puts that high of a priority on his family life should get to marry a woman like Tony Ann, who's smart and funny and warm and adventurous, and I could go on and on. I mean, she, she fit in with us right away, uh, if that's what you could call it, because she's actually a lot cooler than us. <laughs> Most of us think going to Chinatown for dinner is exciting. And, you know, she packs on a, a backpack and walks all over Southeast Asia. <laughs> In any case, I can't, uh, can't imagine uh, Ignatius without you. And uh, we're just happy that you came out of the scene three years ago. His life and his family and, and our family of friends are much better off for it. So I do have a toast to the others. Uh, please stand up and raise your glasses to the bride and the groom. I wish you much joy and happiness, friendship, adventure, and most importantly, love, love, and more love. Cheers. Cheers. To Ignatius and Tony. Thank you. Thank you. Right, so put those hands together for James. I'm doing a great job with those heartfelt words on behalf of Tony and Ignatius. Yeah.